All right, in this video, we're gonna cover three things that I like about Pirate Ship compared to stamps.com. And the first one is how quickly it loads. So I'm gonna log out and log back in. All right, so that fast, I can go ahead and create a label. We'll compare it to stamps.com. I'm gonna sign out. And logging back in, I clicked the button a second ago. And this just shows why I have a problem with stamps.com. It's just really slow and there's always weird errors as you've seen just now. And I promise this was not a setup at all. All right, we'll go back to Pirate Ship. The next thing I really like is that you can quickly see rates. You don't have to enter the full details on the package. You just select your address you're shipping from, zip code, and this is similar to what you would see on like FedEx.com. It's not original, but it is useful, especially if it's in the software that you're already using. So you enter your dimensions and your weight, and there you go. You have USPS versus UPS. And it shows you the discount that they're offering and all these little details. And if you want to go ahead and ship it, it takes you on over to the ship tab. And for the last reason, they're cheaper. Now they boast that they are the cheapest for light packages. And that's not the reason why I will be looking into this and comparing some packages between the two, as well as lighter packages. There is no membership fee, whereas with stamps.com, it's $17.99 a month plus tax. It's nice that you can cancel any time and you can remove the membership and have just a stamps.com account, but you're not getting any discounts as far as I know. Pirate ship, you're getting the discounts with no extra fees. That covers it. So that's the three reasons their website compare rates and you move smoother and faster. You can get better rates with no fee. Those are the three. Check in the next video.